we're going today. Today I'm going to be talking about putting your design onto canvas. Now it sounds easy, but it's not. So whether you're working in oil paints or acrylic, it really doesn't matter. The process can be the same. Sounds easy, but it's not. So we're gonna take a blank canvas like this, and I'm gonna show you how to put your mark on canvas, and then we'll be ready to paint. Hi guys, Smidge here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell next to it for all future uploads. So, so today I'm working on a shop bought canvas. Now I always um, pre-prime my canvases using acrylic low sheen undercoat. That, that's the paint that you put your walls, you know, you paint on your walls, might have on your kitchen wall or whatever, it's absolutely ideal. Make sure that you get a low sheen one, we don't want any gloss or anything like that. So just a normal acrylic paint. So with a paintbrush, just applying it very generously. Usually I give um, quite a few, well maybe two or three coats. Um, so where we go, we're just slapping it on here. I don't actually work this quick, it's been sped up a little bit, you can probably see that. So covering really well. Don't worry about brushing out your brush marks, that's all part of it and actually adds what we call tooth to the canvas. Um, so yeah, I'll slap that on. Um, as I say, using um, acrylic household paint. Probably need to let that dry for about um, two or three minutes or depending on the temperature. You can see the comparison between the white, that's like a mushroom colour that I've been using. So I have my willow charcoal in hand and I'm slowly starting to sketch in the painting. The picture's going to be of a uh, watering can and I should add a few fairy wrens. Um, fairy wrens are native to Blackbutt. So the wonderful thing about this particular method is that um, as I said before, um, I just use a wet cloth when I make mistakes and um, I'll be able to sort of rub out if I do make any mistakes. So yeah, just pressing quite hard with the um, charcoal. D don't be frightened of it, you can't press too hard. So um, remembering that I'm working on a mushroom colour background. I don't like that bit very much, so I'll have another go now at um, trying to rough in the fairy red. As you appreciate, um, this film is speeded up slightly, so um, yeah, I don't actually draw quite this quick, but um, it's about two and a half times the speed of what I normally draw. So yeah, no, I'm still not happy with that tail, so I'll uh, put that in. See how easy it is to rub out with a wet cloth? If you try to do this on a shop canvas with the way it's been primed, initially as you buy them, it wouldn't work. The charcoal wouldn't rub off at all. You'd be left with a big mess. So as I said earlier, you must um, pre-prime the canvas to get this technique to work. And what this will enable you to do is, like any subject that you want to draw, you can keep drawing for maybe an hour or two if that's how long it takes you. If you're out in the bush, you could be drawing from life and you can just keep going with your charcoal on and on and on, rubbing it out until you're absolutely happy with it. So yeah, I'm still going with this picture. Um, yeah. There's a bit of thought process going on. Um, you know, I've been painting a lifetime, but yeah, it still takes me a while to plan the picture. starting to plan a background, help the, the, the viewer's eye come into the painting if you like. Balance is obviously very important when you're trying to, uh, you know, when you're planning a picture. So um, my old brain's working away now, a bit harder than usual. So yeah, now re reaffirming my lines, yeah, this is more or less definitely where I want. Put in some hills in the background. Eventually I may put a house in the background, a bit of a farm, that sort of thing later on maybe. Um, now I'm using uh, liquid is what I'm going to be using so um, first of all I'm dabbing off just with a dry tissue just taking off the excess charcoal that I don't really need I just dab dab away with a dry tissue remove a lot of charcoal then with a paintbrush I use a watercolor paintbrush um, a number one watercolor brush and I'm going to be dicking dipping that in liquid which is that fast drying medium um, and I'm also going to be using the colour I'm going to be using is raw umber so that's just a little bit of raw umber paint there 
if I was going to be working in acrylics, um, then that would just be some acrylic paint and I'd be using water to make the paint flow. So here I am now just using the raw umber and wetting the brush with a little bit of liquid. The liquid will make the design dry in about more, maybe 15 minutes, which is really, really quick for oil painting. However, I do live in Queensland, Australia, and I'm struggling today in the heat because it's about 30 degrees. So maybe if you're watching this and you're living in England, it could take a fair bit longer. It might even take a day to dry with, um, with the lip quin. So yeah, just roughing in, incorporating the charcoal lines into the, uh, into the painting. So all my oil paintings are started off this way and my acrylic paintings too. So it gives a good foundation um, for your drawing. On the left there, you can see some paintings that I did previously. There's um, a railway siding, a black butt, um, the rough painting that I did with the raw umber and the liquid, and below it, you can just see the finished painting. And by the way, the little dog at the bottom there is my trademark for my um, artworks and for my books. So yeah, I'm still continuing now, roughing in this um, design using the chalk, sorry, using the liquid and the, um, the brush. So I'm quite happy with the way this is going. Normally at this stage of the painting, it's going through my head, you know, what sort of colors I might be using um, in the painting. Um, in go the hills there. Um, next painting is coming up on the left there. Can you see the fairy wrens that I painted a few weeks ago? So, um, at the top of the picture is the rough design. There goes another one now. That's our local hall at Black Butt. Um, and then Black Butt, by the way, is in South East Queensland. Hi guys, it's Mitch here. If you would like to see the continuation of this fairy wren painting, watch the next video on oil painting a la Primer.